Today, I'm joined by Tom Van Hoos, who's the owner of a gun shop in Montana that was raided by the feds last week. Tom, thank you so much for joining me. Ivory, thank you so much. It's nice to see another great voice. I follow you. Uh, most of the time I pick you up on SGT report, um, but thanks for taking the time. Absolutely. I, I'm disturbed to hear that the ATF and the IRS raided your store. Local news reports it was 20 armed feds who came into your yeah. shop. Uh, take me 20, through what happened. 20 armed federal IRS <laughs> criminal investigation agents, M4s, battle rattle, you know, all the tactical gear. We're on a very busy street, third busiest street in Montana. And uh, the if something had gone wrong, you, can you imagine the, the collateral damage of people driving up and down, walking up and down the street? That was outrageous. When is anybody, when is any business, forget a gun business, been raided by 20 heavily armed IRS agents? What did they take? So they came in with a search warrant for financial records and they took about one banker box of financial records and they took 23 boxes of 4473s. If you if your audience doesn't know what that is, that's the form you fill out to purchase a firearm. And the only agency in the US legally authorized to see those forms are ATF. The ATF the gentleman that was here originally, we checked and they said, no, they don't get them. He got a call back an hour later and said, turn the, the uh, 4473s over to the IRS. The IRS has no legal right to have those firearm transactions. 13,000, over 13,000 firearms transactions. And what sort of details are in those transactions? Your name, your birth date, all of your personal information, and the make, model, and serial number of the gun you just purchased. Those are protected so heavily by case law and legal precedent and laws that databases are not allowed to be created on your personal firearms transactions, but they sure as heck have them now and they were going to get scanned into their system. So how many gun purchasers does the IRS have details on now? Well, there's at least 13,000 of those forms. And I'm sure some of those forms are from the same individuals, but it could be a, it could be you know ten thousand individuals that have those. Uh, they wow. they were here ten hours and they spent the bulk of their time going through forty four seventy three. So the raid happened last Wednesday, as I recall. Bastille Day. Did did you get did you get any heads up or you know what was no, what happened? I, I pulled in at seven thirty a.m. and then immediately uh, twenty again full battle rattle M fours. Pulled in behind me. Shout out to the sponsor of my coverage. The signs of future financial trouble for American investors and savers are piling on in 2023. Bloomberg is warning of a severe economic reset and gold appears as a caged bull awaiting a catalyst. In May, J.P. Morgan's senior team said, cut stocks, buy gold and hold your cash. The CEO of a major real estate investing firm declared it's really the perfect storm. Empty office buildings across the U.S. could lead to financial meltdown. Wells Fargo said gold is in a super cycle that could last another six years and worst case scenario is three thousand dollars gold it's going up so the time for gold is here and demand is soaring let national gold group show you options for investing in precious metals like gold and silver in your retirement accounts and for direct delivery mention my channel ivory hecker and you'll always get best in class service for real american service providers the national gold group ira fee waiver program allows you to invest your ira or 401k into physical gold and silver and you may be eligible for their lifetime fee waiver on qualifying rollovers, call them at 888-617-5927. That is 888-617-5927. Uh, you can also get a free investor guide at the link in my description. National Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA, IRA dealer, 888-617-5927. And add the power of gold to your portfolio. There's always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. Full battle rattle, M4s pulled in behind me. They were, they were polite. Uh, the individuals that were here were polite. They didn't ransack anything. Uh, but... If anything had happened, if they if they'd have started firing, the collateral damage on this heavily tra trafficked street we're on, it, it would have been terrible. 
what what went through your head when you saw them roll up? I just started looking around at all the cars going by, the people, multiple tenants are in this building. And I'm like, I can't do anything that's in any way going to be considered, uh, you know, threatening to them because if they turn loose, there's going to be a lot of collateral damage. Wow. So what do you think instigated all this? Was there a reason for them to analyze you? I have no idea. Um, two years ago, we had an FBI person here from, uh, from another state and we deal with lots of local law enforcement here. They use our range to train on, they buy handguns, long guns from us. And I've asked all of them, why am I on a radar? Well, shortly after that, the local sheriff was told he didn't have appropriate security clearance to know what they were doing. Shortly after that, Homeland Security comes in and interrogates me and my staff on where we were on January 6th. And they know we were nowhere near because they can look on their computer and see everywhere I've been with my smartphone and everywhere, uh, every credit card transaction. That's the kind of data they have on you. And they knew that I wasn't anywhere close. But they're just harassing you somehow, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And then they put us on the Homeland Security domestic terrorist watch list. Another branch of Homeland Security that uses our range. They came in and I said, hey, guys, why am I on the list? And they're, they're like, well, look, we'll look into it. They came back and said, there's no reason for you to be on the list, but we can't get you off. Wow. Okay. I, I mean, I'm just wondering, they must be concerned that people who are anti the anti Biden regime are stocking up on weapons. Well, you know, Montana is one of those places where uh, there's a lot of former military a lot of uh, former operators. Um, of course, we're known to be a very gun-friendly state. And if they want to make uh, an example out of somebody, uh, I guess I get to be the poster child in our community just totally got raped with the level of firepower and taking personal firearms records. I mean, they just, they totally raped our community. It's, it's wrong. They didn't take any actual weapons, right? Oh, no, no. And any, any cash they found, uh, you know, like one of my rep nightly reports, I'd left like $45 in that report and they brought it down to me. I was like, there is nothing that makes sense anywhere. They were here 10 hours and spent the bulk of their time over seven hours going through my, my records of, of firearms transactions. They just seem to want to know who is buying how many guns. Mm -hmm. And there's been a, a few blogs out there that, that are kind of legally oriented toward the gun business. And one of the gentlemen said what they're doing yes, is now that they have these records, you're going to see who brought bought a pistol, an AR pistol or any, any pistol that can accept a brace. And then we used to be able to legally sell pistols with braces on. And so now uh, if you didn't file a form one during the grace period and you haven't filed a form one since, which is, the, the registration of your pistol braced firearm. Now you're in violation of uh, federal IRS laws. Wow. Yeah, okay. So uh, it, it is. Yeah. So again, uh, for everyone watching, this is the Highwood Creek Outfitters. It's a, it's a gun show, uh, gun store in Montana. By the way, can you give me a, can you give me a look at the shop there? Do you, do you want to just well, pick, up, is, pick up the phone sure, and show I'm, us? I'm in the, uh, I'm in the, the lounge portion of our uh, gun sh our gun range. We have a gun range and uh, an in indoor gun shop. Uh, so we're I'm in the lounge, and I will. Uh, this is our uh, area that we rent guns out for people to shoot on. These are you probably don't want to be on the TV. That's okay. Yeah, <laughs> and so some of the targets that we allow on the range. And I'll come back, and then I'll uh -huh. take you over to the gun shop. Wow. And I was looking you, at the, you can, the local. You can edit out this. Go ahead. I, I was looking at the local news. Uh, they they said that a couple of your congressmen, uh, Congressman Matt Rosendale, um, sent a letter to the IRS and to the ATF saying, what the heck are you guys guys doing this incident is outrageous uh he and or 
other politicians locally have been in touch with you too. Is that right? That's correct. Um, Ryan Zinke, our other congressman here, even though I'm not in his district, he reached out to us and said, hey, we're in support of what Rosendale is doing. Steve Dane's office uh, has issued a letter. Um, but I think what they're after, Ivory, is we sell these kinds of guns. Um, and that's what the libtards uh, in America hate. Are those the ones they call assault weapons? They're modern sporting rifles. They're not anywhere near a military-grade battle rifle. But the libtard uh, media calls them assault rifles. So, you know, I, I it was a year ago, I believe, that uh, someone's ring doorbell camera captured ATF showing up at, at this guy's house after they had uh, followed his transactions and seen that he'd bought multiple guns. Yeah. So I, yeah. I'm just assuming that what's happened here is that you've had one or more customer who bought a bunch of guns and they want to know why. Well, but see, they, the IRS would have none of that detail, only the ATF would. And the ATF in Montana are really pretty good folks. We have a good relationship with them. And I just don't see our local ATF turning that over, but hmm. between the FBI surveillance, Homeland security surveillance, um, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe there's somebody in this community that they're hot after, and I'm just being mm. the poster child. I don't want to be, but I guess probably. I, am. I think so. I think they're getting yeah. to you to get to someone else. But I know uh, clearly, with as much as they've gone after January 6 people, Biden's regime is extremely scared of any Americans who might stand up for their constitutional rights as Biden plows on through, yeah. and not just right. Biden. Are you familiar with the arm brace law that just took effect June 1st? Tell me about it. Okay, so um, some of these uh, supposedly scary guns behind me, if they're shorter guns, you would a you were able to have one legally with a an arm brace instead of a stock on it. Those were legally those were legal. You could sell them legally, and then beginning uh, uh, June 1st. First, if you didn't register them as a short bell rifle and pay uh, a $200 tax stamp after that grace period, you are now going to be in violation of IRS law as well. The American people complied at the rate of 0.05%. So that's a big 99.5% non-compliance rate. That's a big F you to, uh, you know, Brandon. So if the mm -hmm. pistol brace ban went into effect the 1st of June, making countless guns now illegal, do you think this is why you were million. rated? It's, it's very likely one of the reasons that the IRS did it. Because now if you didn't register your pistol brace and you didn't pay your $200 tax stamp after the fact, now you're in violation of NFA, which is National Firearms Act, which is ATF. And you didn't pay your tax, which is IRF, IRS Department of Treasury. Wow. So, you know, these members of Congress and other politicians say they've been reaching out to the IRS ATF about what the heck is going on. Um, and they've been talking mm -hmm. to you, too. Are there any updates, um, any clues as to what the heck's no. going on? No, no, no. We're, we're getting nowhere fast. Um I'm under criminal investigation. Two other gun shops that got raided by the IRS had to spend over half a million dollars and got no, uh, they, they had no charges filed on them. And I'm a small business owner. I don't have a half a million dollars to defend myself. Wow. So what are you going to do? We have a, are you familiar with uh, give, send, go? Uh-huh. Yeah. We have a give, send, go campaign, give, send, go.com forward slash Highwood Creek Outfitters. If you could post that for me, I would really Absolutely. appreciate it. I'll include yeah. that in the link down in my description for anyone who, uh, who wants to donate to Tom Van Hoos and his gun shop there in Montana uh, to protect them in this strange that, fight against the Second Amendment. Yeah. And all that money goes directly into a separate account and will only be used to defend ourselves against the IRS. And if there's anything left over at the end, you'll get your pro rata share back. 
Awesome. And uh, how how have gun, gun sales been? I imagine they went up when Biden took over. Uh, they did. Um, this raid has, um, we've seen a dramatic drop. Summertime is bad for the gun business anyway. Beer, boats, and holidays, you know, are tough because that's where your disposable income goes. But we've seen our floor traffic dry up from this. After the raid? After the raid. You think people are scared to buy guns now that they know the IRS and ATF are watching them? They're they're scared to come into this gun shop, which is <laughs> if they can't find a legal way to put me out of business, they can bankrupt me. <sighs> horrible, horrible. And it's is there anything you're going to change? Is there anything you're going to change after this raid? I'm going to become more vocal. There is going to be a freedom rally here on the first of July. That's a week from this Saturday. And the folks organizing it have come up with a great campaign slogan. And then the acronym is SUBO, stand up or bend over. Oh, I like it. All right. Well, yeah. good luck on that rally. And uh, I hope you raise a lot of money. I'm sorry to hear these random raids are happening. Very suspicious of the and Biden they, they, regime. They, the rate they're happening is four times what it has been. The, the rate of... I just think... Four times what they have been. The raids? 3, 000, I, the raids are across America now. But think about this, Ivory. There's 3,000 armed IRS agents in America today with the debt ceiling bill. They authorized 87 or 89,000 more. 30 times the existing armed IRS staff. 30 times. What do you think is going to happen now? Americans, you better stand up or you're going to get bent over. It's coming to a town near you. Wow. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining me and shedding, shedding light on this issue. Um, well, thank all you the best for taking you. the time. Yeah, please do. Absolutely. All the best to you out there at the Highwood, Highwood Creek Gun Shop Outfitters, Tom Van Hoos. You have a good one. Talk to you later. Thank you, everybody. Right, bye.